This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today we're gonna go over how often you should treat for bed bugs to be effective in eliminating your bed bug infestation. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And so let's get on with the question. So I get asked all the time, uh, how do I know the bed bugs are gone? How often should I spray for bed bugs? Uh, how often should I use crossfire for bed bugs? How often uh, should I treat? Should I treat every week? Should I treat twice a week? Should I treat once a month? How often do I need to treat to be effective at getting rid of bed bugs? Because, well, this is what I do for a living, is pest control. I've been doing bed bug work for over 20 years. I've been doing pest control work for over 30 years. And so I've got a lot of experience getting rid of all kinds of bugs. And bed bugs especially recently have made a surge and have caused a lot of people a lot of anguish, a lot of problems, and so uh, that's what we're going to go over today. So um, really, to answer this question, you have to understand how pesticides work, how they eliminate bed bugs, and how uh, they affect the bed bug. So a bed bug crawls through a chemical. You know, they have to crawl through an active residue. So what is a residue? All right. If you use rubbing alcohol to kill bed bugs, the alcohol will evaporate and will no longer kill anything. There's no residue left behind. Uh, if you use diatomaceous earth to kill bed bugs, the residue stays around forever. It's a dust it, uh, and it affects the bed bug in that way. Uh, if you use a pesticide residual, which that's what we're gonna call it, the residue is a residual. Uh, if we use a pesticide residual, pesticides break down over time. So how long do pesticides, how long are they effective? You know, that's the question because uh, if your pesticide is only effective for about seven to 10 days, then you need to retreat every seven to 10 days. If your pesticide is effective for 30 days, then you only need to treat once a month. So this is how I judge how I should sell my pest control business as far as the services I provide. Um, so if a customer has a bed bug problem and my pesticide is labeled for once every other week, basically once every 10 to 14 days, then I need to treat once every other week. But I don't like to do that. I feel like that's not effective. I feel like that that's, that's too much work on the customer. Every time I call the customer, the customer has to get ready for me. They have to pull all the beds out. They have to pull all the sheets and stuff off of their comforters. All their all this stuff has to be pulled off the bed and laundered and washed every two weeks. And that's a lot of work on the customer. And it's frustration, it's irritation. And if it takes you three or four, maybe five visits to get rid of the bed bug problem, that's just irritating. That it, it aggravates them, it makes them feel like you'll never get rid of their problem. And it's just not an effective way to get rid of a bed bug issue. It's not, uh, it's not fun, you know? No, bed bugs aren't fun, but it's, it's pretty miserable. It, it, it really adds a lot of misery to the problem that they already have. So uh, I, what pesticide do I use to get rid of bed bugs? The pesticide I use, oh, and I wanna drop right here real quick. I did mention diatomaceous earth back there. Uh, just because it lasts forever, don't use it. It's very, very toxic to your lungs. If you breathe that stuff in, it can cause things like emphysema, asthma, COPD, all kinds of respiratory issues. Don't use that stuff, really don't. It's not safe, whether it's pool grade or food grade, it doesn't matter. They're both harmful to humans, they're harmful to pets. They're not good to use on your pets, they're not good to use in your home, around your person where you're gonna be breathing them in. Don't, don't use them. But anyway, the pesticides that I use to get rid of bed bugs are Crossfire. Crossfire is the most effective pesticide that I have used in the past 20 years of dealing with bed bugs. It is a non-repellent pesticide and the bed bugs crawl through it and they die. 
what non-repellency means. So there's there's several different types of pesticides you can get. There's a, uh, but they all fall under typically two categories: repellent, which means get away from me, or non-repellent, which means I'm not even here. Crawl all over me. All right. So if you have a non-repellent pesticide, the bed bugs don't see the chemical. They don't know what it is. They don't know where it is. They don't even know that it's been applied. And the reason that non-repellency is more effective than repellency is because bed bugs can live about 10 to 18 months without a blood meal. So that's a long time to go without food. And there's no pesticide that I know of on the market that you could treat your you know, living room furniture, your bedroom furniture, your baseboards, your crown molding, all the places that bed bugs hide. There is no pesticide on the market that's going to last for 10 to 18 months until the bed bug decides they're just going to starve to death. You know, basically what you're doing is you're putting up a repellent barrier that the bed bugs can't crawl over and they're not going to crawl over. They're going to avoid it. They're not going to come into the room and then they'll just wait until that pesticide is no longer effective. Then they'll crawl out and they'll crawl through it, but, um, and it won't kill them because it's no longer effective. So the reason you want to use a non-repellent pesticide, and some of these include Apprehend, uh, Crossfire, uh, Temperate. These are pesticides that are considered non-repellent. Alpine WSG is also non-repellent. The bed bug does not see the chemical for what it is. They don't even know it's there. So if you treat the areas that the bed bugs, you know the bed bugs are going to crawl through, then they don't know the chemicals there. They'll crawl through the chemical and they die. So the way that Crossfire is labeled, and the reason I recommend Crossfire is because I haven't noticed any resistance to Crossfire. So this is another thing you have to worry about when you deal with pesticides is chemical resistance. It's a real thing. It happens all the time. It's one of the reasons a lot of the pesticides at Walmart or Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, it's why they don't work anymore is because the bed bugs develop an immunity or a resistance to the pesticide residue and it no longer kills the bugs. They can crawl through it and it won't kill them. Crossfire, in my experience, has not had this issue. So you can use it, it still kills bed bugs, it kills them within five minutes of, of contact with a wet spray. If you spray them wet, they die within five minutes. That's pretty good. Um, and once it's dry, it takes an hour or two for a bed bug to die after crawling through the residue, but they die. Even though it's dry, they still die. And this is one of the questions that I get asked because I, I recommend Crossfire a lot. People are like, well, how often should I treat? Should I treat once every seven days? Because the label allows for once every seven days. It says right on the label for Crossfire, if you want to treat once a week, you can. They allow for that. The only reason that I would treat more often than once a month, and I never do, I never treat more often than once a month, um, but if you wanted to treat more often than once a month, and you just have a horrible, awful, terrible infestation to where the bug, there are millions of bed bugs, and they're eating you every day, and you can't get any sleep, then you can treat about once a week until you knock down the majority of your infestation. But honestly, most of my bed bug work since I started using Crossfire, I only have to treat once ever, and it kills the bed bugs. That's the thing. It's a once solution for a bed bug problem. Now, does this work for every job? No. In the year 2021, so far, I've been back on three. I've had three callbacks on my bed bug services, and I've had to go back more often than just once. Now, these were horrible infested homes. They were probably some of the most infested homes I've ever been in. Um, and they also had a problem where they were continuing to bring the bed bugs in from their vehicles. They were bringing them, they were continuing to allow their friends and their family that have bed bugs over to their home. And so they were reinfesting their home. And this is typical of a bed bug problem. If you do not know where your bed bugs are coming from, if you don't know how you got them in the first place, then the bed bugs will travel on friends and family. They will continue to come into your home. You really need to try to narrow down how you got these dang things in the first place because that's the thing. You got to understand that so that you can cut that off and stop that bed bug flow into your home. And once you do that, and once you've used Crossfire and you've gone around all your surfaces, your major surfaces and stuff in the rooms and everything like you're supposed to do, 
you're not going to have bed bugs anymore. You're not going to have to treat every month. You're not going to have to treat every week. You're not. You're done. You're finished. I know people don't believe it. They think that I'll have these things forever and a very defeatist type attitude, but it's not. You will be able to defeat this problem. You will be able to eliminate your bed bug issue. You will get rid of the bed bugs in your home. You will not have them again. You know, as long as you don't continue to frequent the areas that you pick up bed bugs and don't let people come in your house that have bed bugs, you know, if you really, I understand it's the holiday season and people like to hang out with friends and family and it's normal to want to hang out with your friends and your family. But maybe you should try uh, do, doing something different this year, going somewhere else uh, so that you don't infest your home with bed bugs, so that your friends and family don't bring bed bugs back into your home. You fought these things. You got rid of these things. Don't bring them back in. So, and, and inform your friends and family. Say, hey, you know, if you've got this problem, why don't you go watch Jason at Green Acres Pest Control? He teaches people how to kill them. I do. I don't mind. I don't make any money off of this. You know, this is not my job. You know, my job is going out like I'm doing right now and, and servicing homes. This is what I do. I do YouTube for you. I help you. I want to help you. I want to help your friends. I want to help your family. I don't want bed bugs. You know, I don't want anyone else to have bed bugs. I want you to be able to eliminate your problem and be successful at it. So tell people to watch my YouTube channel. Tell people to, to go and, and learn about these pesticides. This is what I did. You know, I was 17 years old and I had my very first bed bug job. And my dad looked at me. I said, how do I kill bed bugs? I've never killed bed bugs before. And he said, well, Jason, you're going to have to just go to the library because all we had was dial up internet. He said, you're going to have to go to the library. You're going to have to research these things. I don't have time to do it right now. You're going to be the bed bug guy. You need to go and learn how to get rid of these things and how people got rid of them because I don't know how, and that's what you're going to do. And so that's what I've done for years. I have researched. I have learned. Uh, I still research every day. I still learn every day. My son and I were looking up a product. I'm going to do a, uh, a product review of Say Bye Bugs, and I'm going to go over why it's ineffective. I've got that video coming up soon. So be sure to subscribe and like to the channel. Follow the channel. Hit the notification bell up in the corner so that you can get my videos when they come out. So you'll get that little notification. Also, Thursday nights, I go live every Thursday night after 9 o'clock. If you have a question you want to ask me specifically, then show up and call me. I have a phone number that I have listed on my live streams. That's not my regular business line. It's a Skype phone number that you can call me live and you can ask me questions. You can actually specifically formulate your question exactly the way you want it. And you can talk to me and you can, you can sit down and say, and I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you as long as it takes to get your question asked. I don't care how long it takes to get your question asked. I will talk to you on the phone and I will fix your issue every Thursday night after nine o'clock. And the reason it's so late because I'm Eastern time. The reason it's so late is because my, my kids, I've got uh, four children, and I try to put my kids to bed before I get on the live stream so there's not a bunch of racket and ruckus going on because I got some wild children and they like to run around and play like kids do. And so I usually put them in bed around nine or so, read them their bedtime story, and then I get on the computer around 9.30, sit down and talk with you guys about bugs. And you don't have to, if it's not bed bugs that are bothering you, maybe it's cockroaches, maybe it's fleas, maybe it's spiders, maybe it's ants, you know, come on, ask me a question. Maybe you just want to ask me about my new baby that was born because he's uh, eight weeks old, you know. <laughs> you know this, <laughs> I'm pretty open to anything. So hopefully this video has helped you and explained to you how to get rid of your bed bug problem and I will be talking to you in the future. Trust me, every Tuesdays I upload my videos, every Thursdays I do my live streams. So uh, y'all have a real good day, real great time, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I just hope you're enjoying life. Y'all have a great one, and I'll see you next year. Bye.